Hello everyone, this is Ultra Lavos. And yeah, we're gonna play some Deadly Towers. Are you excited? This, I gotta read this fast, so here we go. This is an old, old story from the Stone and Copper Ages when there lived men and devils. Helmet. As the coming of age ceremony approached, Prince Meyer grew nervous for the day would be a memorial time in which he would succeed the throne of the Kingdom of Wilner, and as worrying about the Kingdom of the Future, he took himself over by the lake near the castle to think. Suddenly, reflecting the moonlight, a shadow arose from the lake. As the prince stared at it, it gradually changed into a man. Shield. Prince Meyer, light of virtue. The man's voice rose out. It's time for you to light up the darkness. Rubus, the horde devil of darkness, is plotting to extend his power over your kingdom. He is viciously scheming to build a castle on the northern mountain to ring magic bells, to lure monsters out of it your defenses and to invade the kingdom in a single stroke shoes if you wish to be forever at peace in this kingdom of wilner you must journey to the northern mountain and burn down the seven bell towers in the devil's castle with the sacred flame prince meyer only you can accomplish this feat go to the mountains burn down the seven towers defend the kingdom against the devil necklace that's red with that the shadow grew mistier lost its shape and finally disappeared leaving the beautiful lake as though untouched armor that looks like a dress could it be an oracle prince meyer murmured he fell deep into thought for a moment but immediately regained his senses and he had remembered the legend of Khan, weird shield badge looking thing. The legend said that at the time when God's image appears from the lake, the great power will be given to a young man to defeat the devil of darkness and restore peace to the kingdom. Hurrying back to the castle, the prince told the king of the strange event. Gauntlet, the king believing in the truth of the matter, excitedly ordered Prince Meyer to destroy Rubus in all his dark ways. Bell. I need more cowbell. How do they expect you to try to keep up with that reading, especially if you're like an eight or nine year old kid? playing this game which i'm pretty sure i was like nine or ten when i first played this and i i really don't even remember that story being there but yeah that's the story and i hope you all kept up i hope i read that right let's just start password check there's none so let's just hit start that's prince meyer see the uh, box over there to the left doesn't it look just like this guy i mean compare him right now no not at all uh, i mean He's not wearing blue whatsoever. That guy's got a sword. This guy doesn't. But if you hit the attack button, he shoots one. Don't ask where he's shooting it from. I don't even want to know. We can hit select. We can go here. On the right is our bells. Uh, that's the ones we'll collect that we have to burn. Uh, right now we have 100 max hit points. Uh, you can gain more max, but you'll always start with 100 when you continue. Letter is this game's currency. I think 250 is max, maybe 255. And all we have for defense is nothing. An attack, we do have that sword. So we're just going to wander around and try not to run into things. So the first thing I want to do is get some health. So we're just going to travel through here, trying not to die. Yeah, and things uh, will knock you in the opposite direction of what you're moving. If you're not moving and you're stationary, it will by default knock you down. So, you don't want that, especially when you get to cliffy, cliffy, grassy cliffy overhangs. These weird gelatinous blobs are the worst. Yeah, there's a heart. So, see how we went from 100 to 110? And now we have this dragon. And we just, uh, I'm not using turbo, I'm, it's probably easier if you do, but just tap it as fast as you can. Here's our second one. And there's another one we can grab fairly easily. Yeah, these things take so many hits to kill. I'm guessing because we're using physical attacks and it's weak to fire, but we don't have fire. No, I have no idea. And I think up through here... I think it's this way, but I don't recall. If I don't get it, oh well. Ah! Yeah, there it is. And we're at 11 health, so we'll just go ahead and die, I guess. Well, I guess I can try to make it to the top. We're going to be wanting to go back down. Yeah, I'm at 3. 
But all those hearts will respawn. Which is kind of weird, but you can just farm them over and over again if you choose to. I'm not going to. I just wanted to show you something you could do. If you really feel like it. Now we have a password. We can write that down. Um, take a picture of it nowadays or however you want to. But you can just hit start and it'll automatically put it in. Now you're going to start back here at the start. And as you see, if I can hit select instead of start. There we go. Uh, letter, we're back to 50. You just always go back down to 50. So, if you're farming some currency, some letter, you definitely need to, uh, spend it before you die. Now, there are dungeons that you can find in this game, but you don't find them just by finding an entrance. You just kind of wander around and you're like, oh, it just takes you to a dungeon. And you can't leave the way you came in. You would think normally we would just travel down, like if this was Zelda, and leave the dungeon. No, that'll take us to another room. In fact, let's go ahead and move down a room. Now we got these bats. Now, you don't have to kill everything in rooms, and there's really no point unless you're trying to farm. But there's one certain enemy that's probably the best to farm. Uh, you won't get drops, you won't get keys, there's no locked doors. Occasionally there will be shops that will just be in the middle of a room. And you'll just kind of appear in it. I think most of them have circular runes in the middle. And then we just fought a worm straight out of Battle of Olympus. Take on the spire. Now, is this? No. See, that's just a false one. So now let's go down. Try to get past these snakes without getting killed. Some scorpions. Straight out of the deserts of Metal Gear. Good thing they're not poisonous. We don't have to find an antidote. Alright, now we want to go down. Kill that thing. And then right. Now this is the Bounder Tower here. If we get close enough, it'll start spreading out. It'll actually start spinning a uh, thing around. Now we can't even collect all those. Now going down into a room with one of those is a pain because it will just automatically hit you. But going left and right, they won't extend until you get close enough. So you can just kill them easily and every part of that will drop something. So this is the best way to get uh, your health refilled and to collect letter. So we're gonna do this until we get uh, like a hundred letters what I need and I'm gonna fill my health up so whichever comes first or whichever comes last I guess so we just rinse and repeat this and these dungeons a lot of them you don't even want to come in here there's easier dungeons you can go to to do what I'm trying to do but I want to go into a few of them make it a little less monotonous uh, for you guys she don't want to see me go into just one or two dungeons, kill a dude over and over again, buy something, kill a dude over and over again, buy something. Yeah. I mean, I'll be doing some of that. I may do some off-screen later on if I'm just wanting to get more potions or something. But I'll try to, you know, do this simple stuff on-screen. What do we have? 122. Perfect. Okay, so now we need at least 100. Now we're going to go to our shop. And, uh... We're going to go left four times and then down. So, go back through this room. One more. Oh, the scorpions knocked me. And sometimes you'll get stuck on, like, the uh, wall there when you're trying to move up or left or right. And you'll have to move up or down a little very weird. Sometimes it's best to take your time and get rid of these enemies. Alright. Now those guys we don't even want to really mess with right now. Oh! And, okay. I thought I had just died. I hit down quick enough. Those other guys you don't want to mess with either. There's four of them in there and they will hurt you pretty bad. We're going to buy this shield. Now when you buy something... You definitely want to remember to go to your subscreen, hit A to equip it. There you go. If you don't and you die, you lose it. If you have it equipped, you will keep it. The only thing when you die that you keep is things that you have equipped 
and your bells that you have collected. Other than that, yeah, it's it's pretty much gone. You got to get it again. All right, so now we're just going to really die to get out of here. It, I'm not going to try to find the exit. The quickest way out is death. So there's our password, but we'll just hit start. We'll head back here. And I'll go ahead and head to the entrance. No. We'll do all this next time. This is a good place to end it off, because we're going to be going uh, to another shop and into another dungeon. We'll save that in case there's any troubles for next video. This has been Ultra Lavos playing Deadly Towers. I hope you're ready for this one. I'll see you all next time.